वेलकम टू सेशन। इन दिस सेशन वी डिस्कस दी फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन विच सेज द एवरेज ड्यू डेट ऑफ फोर बिल्स वाज टेंथ जून थ्री ऑफ द बिल्स वे पे एबल एज फॉलोस फोर हंड्रेड डॉलर्स ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ अप्रैल थ्री हंड्रेड डॉलर्स ऑन ट्वेंटी मई फाइव हंड्रेड डॉलर्स ऑन थर्ड जून द फोर्थ बिल वॉज ड्यू ऑन एथ जुलाई फाइंड द अमाउंट ऑफ द फोर्थ बिल For the average due date, first of all, we take an arbitrary fixed date, which is the zero date. Then we take P1, P2, P3, and so on. The different payments. due after d1 d2 d3 and so on days respectively counted from the zero date Then we have capital D, which is the equated time of payment. Then capital D is equal to P1 D1 plus P2 D2 plus P3 D3 plus and so on, and this whole upon P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus and so on. That is, D is equal to summation P D upon summation P. Then we have the average due date, which is the date that falls after the zero date, and is obtained. By adding the equated time d to the zero date, this is the key idea that we use in this question. Let's proceed with the solution now. Now in the question, we are given the average due date of the four bills, and three of the bills were payable as follows. That is, we are given different payments for the different due dates. We are given the due date of the fourth bill also, and we are supposed to find the amount of the fourth bill. Now, our first due date is 29th April, so we take 29th April as the zero date. So we take let 29th April be the zero date, and we are given the average due date as 10th June. We know that average due date is obtained by adding D. That is the equated time of payment to the zero date. Now we are given the average due date and the zero date, so we can easily find out the equated time of payment. That is D. So the number of days of average due date, which is Tenth June from the zero date, which is twenty ninth April, is forty two. That is the equated time of payment.
which is capital D is equal to 42 days. Now since we are supposed to find the amount of the fourth day, so we assume that the amount of the fourth day be x dollars. Now here we have made four columns in which we have the due dates, payments, which is capital P, number of days from zero day, which is small d, and P multiplied by D. Now from the question, our first due date is 29th April, and the payment for this due date is $400. So here we have 29 April, and the payment is $400. And number of days from the zero date would be zero since the zero date is 29th April itself. And here P multiplied by D would be zero since 400 multiplied by zero is zero. Our next due date is 20th May for which the amount or the payment is $300. So next we write in the table 20 May and the payment for this is $300 and the number of days from the zero date which is 29th April would be 21 days. Now P multiplied by D would be 21 into 300 which would be 6300. Then next due date is 3rd June for which the payment is $500. So here we have 3rd June and the payment is $500. A number of days from the zero date that is small d would be 35. And now 500 multiplied by 35 gives us 17500. Now the next due date is 8 July and we have to find the amount for this bill and we have assumed that amount to be X dollars. So here we have 8 July and the payment is X dollars. So number of days from zero date that is small d is 70 and P multiplied by D would be 70X. Now we find out summation P would be equal to 400 plus 300 plus 500 plus X and that would be 1200 plus X then summation PD is equal to 6300 plus 17500 plus 70X which would be 23800 plus 70X. Now from the key idea we have equated time of payment that is capital D would be equal to summation PD upon summation P. So capital D is equal to summation PD upon summation P that is equal to 23800 plus 70x and this whole upon 1200 plus x. And we had already calculated the capital D as 42 days. So this means 42 is equal to 23800 plus 70x and this whole upon 1200 plus x. Now cross multiplying we get 42 into 1200 plus x the whole is equal to 23800 plus 70x. Further we have 42 into 1200 is 504 double 0 plus 42x is equal to 23800 plus 70x. Now further 70x minus 42x is equal to 50400 minus 23800. Or you can say we get 28x is equal to 26600. And from here we have x is equal to 26600 upon 28 and 28 
950 times is 26600. So therefore we have x equal to 950 or you can say x is equal to 950 dollars. Therefore amount of the fourth bill that we had assumed to be x dollars is 950 dollars. This is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.